Let's talk about mm. critics a little bit. Mm -hmm. I want to talk about Nathan Cohen, mm -hmm. uh, who was very big in Canada. As very a influential, in yes. Did you know Nathan? Yes, very much so. And what did you think of his uh, role as a critic? Uh, uh, well, it was a new twist. Now, the interesting thing was that I felt that he didn't really know theater. He hadn't been out to see anything. He was from the Maritimes uh, or uh, somewhere down in the east and right. came to Toronto and took um, sides and, you know, and I remember he wanted me to do that front page of the entertainment, write it, you know, from whatever, and I said no. He wanted you to write it? Yeah, to do a thing on Araby Lockhart and, you know, do the... Or do a page. Right, on the, in the Toronto Star? Yeah. Which is where Nathan wrote? Yes. And I said, no. And he said, why? And I said, because you'll hack it all to death and do, you know, do something. He said, no, no, I won't. I won't. I won't change a word. I will consult you. I said, okay, if you promise, I'll do it. And he did, and he never touched a word. I did the thing and whatever. But I did feel that he got yards. When it's fledgling, when it's all starting and trying to make a go of it, now, Herbie was very marshmallow, but at least he realized the amount of effort that went in, people trying things. And you could always tell what he liked and he didn't like. Mm -hmm. You could read between the lines yep. if you knew his writing at all, and uh, you know. But just to um, whack at something. It is the debate it, about the role of a of criticism yes. in an emerging culture yes. like Canada was, or yes. the role of criticism in London or Paris, where you have a mature culture, and those are two different. That's quite true, but you see, you have someone like Bert. No, uh, not Bert Lahr, Bert Lahr's son, who writes in the New Yorker, right. the uh, criticism, and obviously has been around and knows theater, and knife edge, you know, and will go into it, and uh, you know, I mean, he's, and that is to uh, established, right. you know, uh, but somebody who knows theater inside out. And I always felt that Nathan didn't. Did you enjoy reading him? No. Do you think he did good for the theater? No. It's sort of like uh, Edith Evans when she played in The uh, Coward. Um, she played it recently. I mean, she must have been 80 when she played it, and it should have been played by a 40-year-old. But she was Edith Evans, and come on. And, uh, you know, well, she's too old to play that role, da, da, you know, in all the papers. And uh, she said, but they knew that before they came. <laughs> <You know? laughs> because everybody wow. knew she was in her 80s. But it doesn't, it, you know, that's ridiculous. We know. It should have been played by a 40-year-old. How did the 80-year-old, you know, if you mm. want to see Edith Evans and you buy a ticket to see it, she's playing a 40-year-old, how'd she do, you know? Don't just slice it up. And Herbie Whitaker? Well, Herbie, as I say, marshmallowy, but had a much more sense of the theater um, and, and was fair. I mean, you know, as I say, you knew where he stood when you read him. You could tell, well, he didn't like that one much, although he would never say it shouldn't have been done or it was wrong or something yeah. like that. He'd pick out some of the good spots in it. Underlying you know? is whether the critic has to be entranced by the craft he's writing about, or can you have yeah. a critic who is not in love with the form? And I think that's a, another big difference with criticisms, because we've gone yeah. through some critics who, right. Right. you know, right. <laughs> yes. yes, they're smart, they're perceptive, but yeah. they don't care about the form. No, um, no. Which I think that's very good, yes. Right. Yeah. And Herbie loved the form. He you know? adored the theater. Yep. And going to the theater was, you know, just yep. no matter what or where or But likewise, whatever. we do need critics who will say difficult things out loud. Well, yes. Um, 
Yes, I think we do. But not to lambaste no. something. No. And now, um, there are too many critics who think, if I have an opinion, I'm a critic. Yeah. Well, being a critic has nothing to do with having an opinion. Everybody it, has opinions. Exactly. Criticism is not an opinion. It's... Regina Mallet was somebody else again. She was... But she, uh, she had certainly a, a good view of theater. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, she mm -hmm. knew theater. Did she love it? No. D no, I don't think so.